I'm here with my Dash mini waffle maker, my mini food processor, a medium egg, and some boiled chicken breast, and I am making a chicken waffle. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. This is a Brentwood mini food processor. I love this mini food processor. It is so convenient and it's really easy to use. It works well if you fill this up to about halfway, anything more than halfway, and it doesn't work as well. Halfway on this is about one cup, and this holds about two cups total. So the first thing I am going to put in is the boiled chicken. I made chicken soup a few days ago, and I have a bunch of the leftover boiled chicken from that. So this is about one chicken tender. And then I'm gonna add one medium egg. I'm just gonna crack the egg right in. If you want to add any kind of herbs or spices, you can do that also. I've made these plain, they're really good. Um, today I'm gonna add a little bit of everything bagel seasoning. I'm just gonna try it out, I'm kind of in the mood for it. You can add poultry seasoning, um, you could add just like parsley, uh, you could add just salt and pepper. Um, you could add anything you want to or you could add nothing and just make them plain. So I'm putting the cover on and then we're going to process this. And that's what the batter looks like. It comes out pretty smooth. And the reason why I'm using the boiled chicken breast, other than the fact that I have it as a leftover, is that chicken breast has a tendency to be dry, and I want something that is going to be dry in this batter. I've tried making this recipe and adding some veggies to it, so uh, like I cut up a green onion, put that in there. Even adding something as simple as a green onion added a good bit of moisture to the batter as it was cooking in the waffle maker and it made a bit of a mess because some of the liquid was then like leaking out so i find it better not to add any veggies uh, or other ingredients to this unless they're dried so here's my dash waffle maker i just plugged it in the light is on once the light goes off then we are ready to start cooking i've been watching quite a few of the other dash mini videos on youtube and a lot of people think that if the light is on it means you're ready to cook and once the light goes off it means you're done um, it's actually the opposite uh, you're not ready to cook until the light goes off and then once you're cooking whether the light is on or off um, it doesn't mean you're done okay the light went off so here is the waffle iron let's add the batter I'm using one of my mini silicone spatulas to get it out of the food processor. Okay, so there we have it. I'm going to push it around a little bit. Obviously, it'll flatten down once I close this. Okay. Let's close that, and then let's be back in like four minutes. It's now five minutes later, so let's open this up and see what's going on inside. That looks really good. It feels like it's done, so I'm gonna unplug this. Always unplug your Dash Mini appliances. And I'm gonna take the waffle out. That's what it looks like. If you did not know that was chicken, you would think it was a regular waffle. It looks exactly like a regular waffle made with flour, but it's made with chicken. Many people are aware of a very famous dish called chicken and waffles. This is actually chicken in a waffle. It's a chicken waffle. So it's definitely screaming out for some honey. So I'm going to drizzle some honey on top. That's like traditionally what you eat with chicken and waffles. It's usually with honey. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of the everything seasoning to the top of it. It smells so good. There it is, okay, so let's cut into this. It has a firm texture, but the texture is very, very similar to a regular waffle. When you bite into it, 
your mind thinks you're biting into a regular waffle, but it tastes like chicken. The best way I can describe the taste is like a chicken nugget. It tastes like the inside of a chicken nugget. Obviously, it does not have the breading on the outside, but it tastes like the inside of a chicken nugget. So if you have any kids that just love chicken nuggets, they should absolutely love these chicken waffles. I really like the everything bagel seasoning with it. So it's sesame seeds, salt, garlic, onion, black sesame seeds, poppy seeds, and this one actually has a little bit of dill also. So lots of flavor going on there. Um, so that is how you can make a chicken waffle in a Dash Mini Waffle Maker. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.